another video. Welcome back to the channel, man. And today behind me, you see we got the SS1LE and we got the ZL1. And this ZL1, as y'all know, is, if you don't know, now you know that it's Q to Chaotic, man. Major shout out to him letting me use his ZL1 for this comparison video because that's what we are going to compare today. What's the difference between the ZL1 and the 1SS, 1LE? Um, they're pretty much like the same car underneath. So they have the same like rear diff. They have the same um, gear ratio, 3.73 gear ratio. And they have the same bushes and stuff like that underneath. So underneath the car, they're identically the same, except for the engine. The ZL1 has the supercharged LT4, and this had a naturally aspirated LT1. So now we're gonna just go through and walk through the differences of the two right now and compare the two. So we're gonna start off with the splitters. So as of now, you see they got like a gloss black um, type of look on the ZL1. And it's like matches the, this is little stuff I'm showing to you guys where it just matches the fender right here versus on the SS1 LE, it got that little satin black look, but it sticks out a little bit. And it got this right here. Um, I guess it helps with the airflow going through. I'm not sure if that's for looks or it helps with airflow. GM only knows about that. And also it's just the front. Like looking at the two, some people like the Z01 because it has that look before the refresh. Um, this one is still growing on me. I like the color more than the look a little bit, but the more I keep owning it, I like this a little bit more, but I still favor the Z01 style because of just how it looks. Um, another difference between the two, between the Z01 and the SS1 LE, which I wish they should have done, um, is that the Z01 come with the flow tie in the front so he getting more air into his engine versus i wish gm should have did it only for the one that leaves only where instead of it being black they should have just did a flow tie right here so he can get more air into the engine um so that's the differences right there comparing between the two um they both both of these cars share the same exact tires both of these have the eagle supercar uh threes on there so out the factory you both get the same 285s on the front, 305s on the rear. As um, far as the brake system setup, I have a slightly smaller rotor than him, but I have the six pistons. He has the six pistons as well, but he have a bigger rotor. You can think of it as like, the only way you can get his rotors on my car is that you have to get the copper free uh, brake option um, on his car, on my car. Um, as we walking around, this is one difference on the side, which I like about the ZL1s is that his come with the side skirts. On uh, mine, I don't come with the side skirts at all, so that's what makes it a little bit different. Um, just outside aesthetically, as far as the rear bumper, this is where it changes a little bit. They're both the same, and you can see like the differences. They're very subtle. If you have a one SS or a two SS, if you had a two, if I had a two SS one LE, they're practically the same. Um, and that is the sensors on the back. Uh, mine don't have the sensors because I have a one SS. Um, and the rear diffuser. So his rear diffuser on the ZL1 is a gloss. Mine's is more of a satin uh, black finish uh, right there. So that's what you can tell the difference. Very subtle how GM did it, but you can see the differences uh, right there. Um, he has an aftermarket exhaust. He have MRT version three H pipe system on there. So that's why. The quad tips are not the same. His is a little bit bigger, but that is why there. That's not fact. And the wing. So his wing is not factory. His wing is like similar to the SS version, um, but this is a little bit better. I always like the high wings. I'm a big fan of those. And I'm a fan of the original one too, because the original ones, they hang over like this a little bit. If you want to see how that looks, check the very first video. When I brought this car on the channel, you can see how that look with the original spoiler on there on the rear here i had the wicker bill look they sponsor the claim i use it for downforce but that's that's what i have here but everything else on the rear end is the same from the bow type to the third brake light to the tail lights everything is identically the same as we walking around and like i said before i don't have the side skirts 
but I kind of like it. Just me personally, like I have side skirts and I feel like I like the side skirts more on the ZL1 because I feel like it looks like a bigger car from the side, a little bit slightly bigger. Maybe it's just the front fender, but I feel like the side skirts enhance the ZL1 a little bit better versus the uh, SS1 LE. Um, another thing is the difference is so far as we walking around the cars, for the one LE package, you get the matte black hood. For the ZL1, you don't get the matte black hood unless you option for the track package, which is the ZL1 one LE, where the hood will come black and the mirrors will come black. So that's the difference between the ZL1 and the ZL1 one LE. Otherwise, it'll be painted the same color as the car. Um, as we looking at it, he did option uh, for different versions. So that's a personal preference for people. But you see here, I don't have that sunroof option. It has like that little mohawk, I like to call it, that mohawk cow look on the top of the roof versus if you get the sunroof option, it's just all flat and it just cut a hole into it. So it's personal preference, I have both. But the reason I don't have a sunroof in this one is for different reasons because I take mine to the track and I just bump my head on it every time so my helmet doesn't fit versus his. He daily drive his ZL1 and it's more for comfort and he can look good while going past you on the highway uh, with you know over 500 to the rear wheel so let's jump into the interior and show you what the interior looks like between the two so off the ZL1 what you paying for the only option he added was the red seat belts it looks like here um, but other than that oh and the carbon fiber dash the carbon fiber dash that's the other option that he added here for the ZL1. Other than that, you get a lot of bang for your buck uh, here for what you're getting here. So you get the Camaro that's greeting you when you light up at night. He get the recall seats automatically um, with the ZL1 nameplate etched in there. I wish they would have did that for the one at least where they put one at Lee in the seat. That would have been a nice uh, feature right there. He had the Recaro. I mean, not the recall, the Alcantara steering wheel, the Alcantara, you know, seats, the Alcantara on the shift knob, and he have a nice little red stitching too all over the car, which is, I think it's phenomenal how GM did that on this particular interior. And on the sides too, it's Alcantara with the red stitching too. Now we look at the SS on the one SS trim, this is what, you get on the 1SS trim. So on the 1SS, you're greeted with a matte black Camaro. You can change this, you can add an option if you want to, but that's extra money. Um, this is plastic. You get leather here, you get leather here, but it got the white stitching, which contrasts pretty good with the seats, but the red sticks out a little bit more. You know, the back, on the Recaros is just plain. It would have been nice, like I said before, they would add at least the one that lead logo on there like they put on the calipers. These floor mats is optional. I ordered those from a dealership, um, but otherwise they'll be just plain black um, mats at this point. Uh, it doesn't come with the carbon fiber. You can get this at the market company or order it on the side from GM Parts to get that, to get that same look if you want to, but far as everything else is pretty much like the same, as far as the steering wheel, the, the gear shift, and everything else. I add a little bit of carbon here and there. Also, what I forgot to mention too, he has a camera as his rear, as his rear mirror. I don't have that, and the only way you can tell if someone has that, if you look at the shark fin. So you look at my shark fin, I have nothing on there. If you look at his shark fin, G him at etched a camera right there. So that's how you can tell the difference between the two. If someone had a 2SS 1LE or a 1SS 1LE um, right off of the bat there. And this is only come for the ZL1s and the 2SS uh, option. And we're going to get down into the lighting. His, which I forgot to mention, come with the upgraded lighting where I believe now on the 2016 I had, it used to do the whole door. Now I think they do half and half or they give you the option to do the whole door or half and half. So you only get this if it was a 2SS option. 
and you only get this if it was a 2SS option. 1SS, we don't have this option at all for these two. And the Bose speakers. But like I said before, if you decide to get an LT1 and you don't like these two cars because they're out your price budget, you can get the LT1 and you can add the Bose. So this is a phenomenal sound system. It has a lot of bass. Q can probably tell you that too. Like He probably enjoyed his sound system a lot based on what type of genre of music you listen to. And since we got the door open, let's just go ahead and get to the meat of the whole car, which everybody likes. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up mine too, because it's different strokes for different folks and different platforms for different people. So now we got these hoods open. We're gonna open the baby boy of the whole of the whole bunch. So this is not, it's stock tuned, but I add the CALT2 manifold, but imagine just the stock manifold still sitting there. And under his, look at that, the nice bread and butter supercharged LT4. So his is completely stock, mine's completely stock. Like I said before, he has the Rotofab um, Big Gulp uh, cold air intake that requires no tune. Um, I have the Rotofab cold air intake, doesn't require a tune, but some people said it adds power, but I'm not sure yet. I has no power whatsoever, but all what I have done to this one is just a CALT2 manifold, cold air intake, a catch can, and a ported throttle by That's it, but I'm still running this on a stock tune. My car is not tuned at all. And his car, out the gate, LT4, forged engine, forged pistons, man. I mean, it's making over 550 to the rear wheels versus mine's making four to the rear wheels so these are both phenomenal cars the platform are awesome they both use for different purposes some people love the supercharger uh, aspect and love getting that backseat feel hopefully he let me get a chance to, to drive it one of these days I never driven a Z01 ever uh, so that'll be nice maybe I could talk him into letting me drive the Z01 one day um, but for now I, all I had was a naturally aspirated car, so that'd be nice for me to give you guys like an, my opinion and review between the two of how it feels to come from a naturally aspirated car to a supercharged car. Uh, but like that, man, that's going to wrap this video up. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully this uh, share you guys the comparison between the two, what you can add, uh, what you can't add, what comes with one and not the other. And... Um, yeah that's it so be sure to hit that like button be sure to subscribe be sure to follow q the chaotic uh channel for letting me review his car compare between the two and uh help us get to 10k subscribers man that's our goal for this year we can get to 10k subscribers that'd be awesome so like that be sure to hit that like button be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video